The new turf in Mead High is quiet for the moment, but school will be back in session Tuesday. Coastal, the Mead High Mustang was around for Thursday's ribbon cutting on a $1.4 million improvement to Mead High Stadium. More on that in a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, a focus on back to school safety. The commissary is hiring baggers and some sports news from MWR. These stories and more, but first, Mead High School held a ribbon cutting ceremony on improvements at the high school stadium. Three, two, one. Yeah. The improvements include a new building housing bathrooms and a new concession facility. New home bleachers seating 3,000 are still under construction but should be finished by the home opener. And finally there's a new turf field. The ribbon cutting brought together all of the partners involved including contributors from the state, county and local level and the Maryland Live Local Development Council. Desiring to make improvements doesn't by itself make it happen. A school needs support, and we certainly have had that. What you see today could not have been possible without our elected officials or the work of our local development council, which awarded the Mead Athletic Boosters the funds to complete this construction project. Anne Arundel County Executive Steve Shue credited Mead High Boosters for getting the process started. This uh, $1.4 million field improvement project is a direct result of a passionate group of parents, educators, and athletes, the Mead High School Boosters. They saw an opportunity to improve the facilities here at this institution. They came together and they made today happen through sheer force of will and commitment to this community. Mead High kicks off the home football season against Arundel High Friday, September 8th at 6.30 p.m. In a related story, the schools are quiet for one last weekend, so we checked in with the installation safety offices of Janelle Ferguson before the kids and school buses hit the streets. So the hardest part is people have gotten complacent over these last few months where they don't have to worry about school buses, kids crossing, so their speed may be a little more increased when they're driving down the roads. So that's something that they got to actually be a little bit more aware of now that school's starting back. The biggest thing is um, for drivers to understand the distance to stay behind the school bus. When you see that yellow flashing sign, know that, okay, this bus is getting ready to stop. When you see the red flashing sign and then the stop sign, please stop and try to stay 10 to 30 feet behind. With the school coming back in, you have a lot of walkers. And this is in a designated um, sidewalk area. You do have the crossing guards. And I say the biggest thing, respect the crossing guards. They are kind of our eyes and ears for allowing the kids to cross safely. In another related story, we picked this up from the Department of Public Works. With continuing construction along Maryland 175, there may be a signal issue from time to time. You can report a signal light issue to the State Highway Administrative Office in Anne Arundel County. The phone number is 410-787-7650. In other news, the Fort Meade Commissary is holding a hiring event for baggers Monday, September 25th from 9 to 11 at Club Mead. Bagging positions are open to active duty service members and their family members, plus retirees. Applications will be processed and interviews conducted on the spot. You need to come in person with your military ID. You must also have a social security number. For more information, call 301-677-5502. One final note from MWR, they're holding a weightlifting competition on Saturday, September 25th at Murphy Fieldhouse. There are five male weight and four female weight classes. It's a bench press and deadlift competition. Participants can enter either one or combined event. The pre-registration deadline is the 15th. Stop by Gaffney Gym or Murphy Fieldhouse for more information. And that's all for this week. I'm Brian Spann. Stay tuned for a word on the new blended retirement system. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead week. People have been asking, why a new retirement system for service members starting in 2018? We've asked these Marines to help with a little demonstration. One objective of the new system is expanding the pool of service members who receive government retirement benefits. You see, under the current High 3 system, you must stay in the military a minimum of 20 years in order to receive a government retirement benefit. But only about 20% of service members make it to a 20-year retirement. That's like 8 out of 10, walking away with no government retirement benefits. So, enter the blended retirement system. Under BRS, service members are eligible to receive government retirement benefits after just two years of service. Under the BRS, about 8 out of 10 service members will receive government retirement benefits, putting service members in step with their civilian counterparts. Because you're there for us. Your retirement should be there for you. That's a fact! And that's a fact.